Hello folks, welcome to Duino Tech Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a product listing page uh, using Strapi for server side and React for client side. On the last video, we created how to create a full stack login using React and Strapi. If you didn't watch that, I would recommend go back for watch that tutorial first and then follow us here because just we'll continue from last tutorial. I will leave that tutorial URL down of this video. So basically, at the end, the product listing page will be something look like this. Uh, categories uh, for each product for example main clothing will show this list of main clothes here and also for women and one last one for kids uh, very simple and straightforward and full stack and dynamic and we'll continue on this channel so to, to do more tutorials about uh, e-commerce using strapi uh, and uh, react so next tutorial will be for product page view and uh, so let's uh, show you how we can start doing this and uh, let's just go directly and start writing the code so let's open our code uh, last uh, time we were working on which in uh, full stack uh, login directory so i'm going to just open this on vs code and then that will have two directory for server and for client and also we can run them i already opened this one for client and this for server and server we can do just npm uh, run div develop and this basically will take some second to load the admin and then we we'll redirect you to this page then we can use this to access the admin page and copy this and go to the browser and let's open new tab here and then look for this will ask you to log in so that now I logged in and so I don't need to save the credential. So basically this is the admin page and here we'll need to add some new collection, uh, collection for category and collection for products. So before I start typing anything on client, let's start by creating these two collections. Let's start by first one. You need to navigate to this content type builder. Press this create new collection type. This will allow you to create a new uh, collection. So first one is going to be category. And then we'll, from the advanced setting, if you need to add any special, so we don't need to add any special setting here. So let's just go with the basic setting here, category, and then continue. And we'll add first, uh, field here basically is going to be just an, as a category name and it's going to be short text and this also uh, we need to make it required so from advanced advanced sitting here we need to set this as required field and then press uh, finish and then we need to add additional field basically we need to add a description and this will be also a text and this is going to be long text and we don't need to make this required so it's optional i can add that finish and save and this will take some second to load that new setting and so now we can try to access this new uh, categories endpoint we created by just going to this endpoint here if we copy this uh, add open new tab here localhost uh, 1337 admin instead of admin this be api then slash categories so that now, now that is returning null because we don't have any categories and also returning uh, 400 c forbidden which we are not allowed to access this we need to go to the setting here to change the setting for uh, rules then press public for categories so we can access categories list of categories or single category set this find and uh, find one and then try press save and if we try again here we should see no change and we don't should see 403 and uh, that now we have data is empty array just now is correctly working so now we created category let's go again to this content type builder and let's create a new collection and this time we're gonna we are going to create a product let's see we don't need to add any advanced sitting here just continue and first field we need to create on product uh, name so basically text and then business name the product name and this is going to be short and also should be required and finish and next field we need to add is going to be a price and price is going to be a number let's go to number and just call it price and then choose here is going to be or let's go for decimal and then finish 
a quantity and quantity also is going to be a number a quantity and we are going to use a big integer finish next one is going to be a product description if you need to add a description as this is going to be long text and finish uh, next one is going to be sizes and sizes we are going to make this more generic to admin so we are going to use json to allow you to add list of different sizes and then hit finish and next one is going to be colors and also this is going to be a json type uh, to allow admin add different type of colors and next one we need to add images and this will be media type it's gonna call images and we are going to add list of images to one single product so you can see different images and then hit finish and last one uh, is going to be the relation between product and category we need to build the relation between these two uh, collections so if you press this relation we need one product to have uh, one category and one category should have more than product so how we can do that that means like this here so a category has many products and products has one category and hit finish so now save and again okay let's try uh, open a new tab for product endpoint or products and that's return 403 as a category we had before so it's now finish saving if we go to the setting here let's try just enable product so to be publicly accessible and let's go to product here and select fine fine one and then hit save button so now if we try it again now we can access list of products which empty array so and if we go back to admin side and come to this content menu let's add our first category and from here let's create new entity and first category let's call it main or main closing and then the description you can add a, uh, you can add a description or leave it empty and also relation here because there is no any products you can just leave it empty save and publish and now if you go to categories and try it hit this one now we have a new category created called uh, main closing and let's add the rest uh, the next uh, two categories quickly so now we created three categories one for men and one for women and one for kids and now if we go and try hit this category same point again now we have three different categories next step let's try go and create a product list so let's try add our first product here so let's start by this here so i already uh, downloaded some images for this list of products here let's just open this here and call it products and let's try go to main for example let's go to this first product and uh, this uh, main jumper let's just try took the name of this folder because we are going to create one for it so the name is going to be this name here price going to be for example 25 quantity going to be 15 and so this is the important part here sizes how we can add sizes size is going to be an array because it's a json going to be an array of object and each object has a name for example it's called be name and then has a value the value of name is going to be the size for example start with the s and so on you can add until x are large so i'm going to add this quickly so that now i add the small medium large and x large and same we need to add colors it's going to be array of object and each object will represent a name and the value is going to be the color So that now I added colors. So basically, usually this color should be matching the images that you upload. For example, let's, we are going to edit this just after uploading the images that we need to add to this product. 
Just from here, you can upload the images, select that button, and then add more assets, and then browse files, and then need to go to right directory, go to products. This is where I'm saving images, then main, then inside main, let's go to this hood, and then let's select the images that we need to upload. If you see here, we have this red, blue, black, so you can add the color name into your image uh, name, so as, I see, as you see here. So we have black, blue, and red, and we are and then upload assets, and then finish, and we can change this uh, black, then we have blue, and then we have gray, let's take, well, we have red, let's take gray out. And so now that we have, last one, we need to just select this relationship, add this uh, from category, let's select main category, and then hit save, and now we have error here so because we need to take this comma last comma on this uh json this is not valid json now if you try it again save now that save correctly and then publish now if you go product and let's hit enter so now we see that the new product is added and as you see that it's not displaying images so if you need to see images you can add this uh, query called populate then uh, equals to star and then hit enter now you can see everything in that product so images and all other data uh, for this product and also you can see the relationship with the category here as you see the category is main closet so next step just let me uh, add the rest of main products so that's i add the rest of main products so if we go back again to the products endpoint and just hit enter now we should see three uh, products and this three should be for main and if we see open each one of them should have a relationship with the uh, categories or main category so if you see here main category for each one of them so this we have the three products for men let's add the three products for women and for kids so we can have uh, the nine uh, list of products for three categories So that it, I added all list of products. So now if you go back again to products endpoint and then just hit this enter. So now we should see the woman products added. So if selected this. So here you can see that the category assigned to this is women closing and the title or the name of this product also uh, refer to women closing. And same, if we go down, we can see for kids, if it just collapse is here, and you can see category for this kids closing, and as you see the name of that uh, product. So now we have all products that added to the API, so next step, we need to populate this data on client. So let's just go quickly to terminal and try run the client locally. So if you do, you need to navigate to client directory and then do npm, uh, start and actually I forget to mention this on the beginning of the tutorial where you can get the code so I showed this in previous tutorial but if you didn't watch that usually this will be added to the uh, at the bottom of this video and it will take you to this uh, repository here called uh, strapi tutorials so from here it will take you to this main branch you need to select here and navigate to product list uh, branch and then here where you can get the code and you can clone this code from here so if you go back and if you see that now the app is running and opening a new tab here this is just a uh, last tutorial that we stopped here for full stack login so now we need to display that list of products here and just make the same as we saw in the demo so first let's go back to the code and that on vs code and where we have the client or react app here this directory and navigate to source and then go to component and inside home directory uh, let's create custom hook and this custom hook just call it use products 
then inside this let's just import react and uh, also import axios and inside here let's just export also the custom hook we just we mentioned is called use products so inside this custom hook then here we need to initiate our state so we can get list of products and also list of categories let's have two state one state for products and one for categories uh, let's import this use effect from react or use state the initial state for products and categories will be just empty square bracket or array bracket uh, let's create a function that to fetch categories because the API is a synchronous call, we are going to use a sync await to get the response from API. And then inside here, we'll use try catch. Inside catch, basically, we'll just log the error for now. And inside try, we'll try to get the data from the API. So we use access.get to get the data from the API and the endpoint for that is going to be just the same endpoint we have it here for categories. Uh, let's just console log press. So for now we will not get this data because we didn't call this function. We need to call this function inside use effect. Let's just add use effect function here. We need to import use effect from React. Uh, let's just correct this typing here. And now that we'll call this function only when the component is mounted. This empty array bracket, it means just uh, it will call this function when the component is mounted. And until now, so this function will not be called uh, because we need to call this custom hook and let's call this inside index inside this home directory. Then to call that custom hook, we need to call the function and import it. Let's just call it and do auto import const. Let's call it test for now equal this function and do auto import. As you see, that is imported here. And now that we'll call this custom hook. If we save it and go to the browser, try go to React app, open and inspect. And let's see the console. What do we see inside console? Let's make this to right side here. Now, if we open this, you see if you see that we have rest and rest has data, and inside data we have another data which has this list of three categories. So each one of these has a category. So let's destructuring this here instead. If you go back to this custom hook, instead of like this rest, let's destructuring this as we saw this has a data, and then this data also has another data. Let's also destructure that data. And now we need this data to update uh, the categories state to have the new data. Just by calling set categories then pass data. So now we have this data uh, categories. So we need to pass these categories to be accessible inside this home index file. How we can do that? At the end of this function, just let's return square, uh, clearly presses and inside just pass categories. So now if we come back again here instead of this test, let's destructuring categories. Uh, let's console log categories here. And if you save that and go back to the browser. And if you see that it's now automatically loaded, we have categories and we have array of categories has three different categories. So now we have categories and next we need to have products or products list. And let's go back. Let's just duplicate the same function for categories and try just rename it for products. And then just call these products inside here, inside use effect. Will be called only once when the component is mounted. And also we need to change the endpoint for products with the, this endpoint we have it earlier. With the populate query so we can get all product data including images. We need to change this endpoint here or this URL to use products endpoint. So now instead of these categories, we'll go and use set products to have list of products. And we need also to return these products here with the categories. So we can access it inside this index file. Uh, inside this hook here, let's add a comma. Add a console lock here for products. Let's console that and see what list of products look like. 
So now if we go back to React app, so if you see at the bottom, we have products. We have around different nine products that uh, three for each category. So we have now products and we have categories. Let's go and try uh, update this home page actually to have the, to display this list of products and categories. But before that, so we now we need to just remove this uh, welcome. Uh, then the person that is logged in, so we need just take that out. Uh, this one we don't need this. And instead of this, I'm going to just to add a, a text and just call it uh, try type enjoy our sales. And uh, let's just add it, add some inline style for this. Take us alliance center. Take us alliance center and save that and come back again here. Now we have this our new label or new title. And then, then after this title, we need uh, to map over the list of categories. Uh, we have this categories here and then this category dot first need to make sure this is exist by doing categories dot lens. If this categories is existing, try to map over the list of them by doing this approach categories dot map and this will return a callback and this callback has a a prime let's call it category and then inside here we need to do some logic we need to make sure first this category has a product then try to render it if this category doesn't have list of products then try not to do that first let's just create a variable call it has products and uh, to check that we by using these products and dot filter and this will have a callback function will be product and then inside here we need to check where if this product uh, category id equal to this category id which will be product dot attribute dot category dot data dot id equal equal to category dot id so how i knew this uh, where, where this uh, category how this uh, structure look like because if you see here in the console log if you try open one of this uh, products has a uh, attributes then we have here this category and then data then id that's how we can access this ID. And then let's try go back. Now we have this variable. This will return uh, true or it will uh, return a product, list of products if that exists use, uh, related to this category. So now we have this list of products. The next step, we need to render them. And to do that, first we need to, uh, to check by first let's add return here, then to check if products is exist and then try render them if products then try check products dot lens if also is this uh, products has list of items try render them which will be just opening this braces and inside here let's open a react fragment and inside this react fragment we are going to display the category name which should be h2 inside h2 and then this category name will be basically just category dot attributes dot name this category basically will be this category here and let's also add a class name here for this category we'll use it later for styling and next step we need to render the list of products and before that we need to wrap them with the row component which is react strap for the layout it's called row and it will import that from react strap that is imported here then inside here we need to render the list of products or has products which already will be an array dot map then product and then this will be a callback function and here in between this inside this callback we'll use call or this stand for column so return list of columns and 
each column will render a product component so this we don't have this component we are, i'm just going to create it uh, because react will require uh, a key for when using map so basically if you see we are using map twice here so here for categories so inside this row let's try use key and the key will be the value for that will be category category dot id and another key here for this column which will be also the value product id uh, let's pass these products uh, this should be products not products let's pass this product as a uh, props to this product component uh, still we have error here let's see what is missing the closing tag for this so we need to add that here after the closing tag here you need to check if products exist then try closing this here just inside after this line and because complaining column we didn't import let's import column and let's also create this product component in the same directory inside home here products.product.js uh, let's rename this and inside here let's just create any fake quick component save it and let's go back to index to import this product component so now we imported that if we save and go to browser so now we have this list of products if you see you have men men has three products and also women and it's closing and this just display product product because if you see the product component it's just displaying this text and instead of this text we need to display the actual product data so here we'll expect a props call it product and let's here uh, get from this product uh, images const call uh, create a variable call it images and this images basically will equal product images so for now we'll try get just a first image uh, inside that list of images uh, to display that in the page and uh, next tutorial i'm going to create a, a single product page where you can display all the product uh, different images and sizes and colors but for now let's just use the first image uh, the, as a default image which will be just uh, images dot data then square bracket zero first image then dot attributes this will return that object for images now we have images then next we need just to return uh, we are going to use a react strap card component and uh, this will be called card that will be import from react strap and this card let's just add a class name i'm going to add some additional css later for this class name call it product card and inside here first we are going to use the card image uh, component and then just close this card image component self closing and this card image will add some props for it first one will be called top so the image to be top and width 100 percent and then alt attribute which will be just uh, image name and the important one uh, source src and this will use basically for the local host for the server which is this one here and let's go back and let's use backtick local host for the server and then we need to add a dollar sign open create places so we can add a variable here will be image dot url let's just change this variable instead of images to image because it's a single image and now if we save that we have image and also let's add the body card body component call it cards body and inside this card body we'll have another component called card title so for the card title we are going to use product name then we'll use a product subtitle or which will be 
card title or card subtitle and uh, for card subtitle inside we're going to use a strong uh, HTML element so to make just a subtitle bolt and inside here we are going to just display the price and then using just dollar sign you can use your currency and here um, this now I'm using just a static currency but you can add actually dynamic currency if you prefer that and this will be just product price so now if we just save this and try go to the browser woohoo so now that we have list of products and we have for women men kids and just we need to add some styling as you see the color and also this here main title and also each category title doesn't look same what we saw on the demo and the only missing part now just adding a css so now if we go back to this index.css file let's add some uh, css to make that look just same what you saw in the demo let's just at home css here quickly so this is just a uh, comment to have a plug where we can uh, add the home css styling let's use this class called home and then face html inside this home or h2 let's apply this css which has let's add margin bottom 20 pixel next let's add also some css for the category title will be inside home and then we dot category title margin top down 10 pixel and top down 10 pixel and left right 0 pixel padding add 40 pixel and background use this hexacode but you can use your own if you'd like which should be just hash and then border radius 9 pixel save this let's take a quick look that how look like the title for categories each category let's add uh, some css for the product and uh, let's just add here product and then it in product in between we have product uh, class or product card then let's add a color so we can see different text color use this hash code let's add some css to product title which will be inside product card and then our card card title so if you see the card title here some card title will be really long taking two two row for example this taking two row if it's this long we need to just elapse the text and to do that we need to add this css if we save it try again now we have different color for the text and even the text that's really long will be elapsed uh, for home here also let's add inside class called home add a margin top let's add margin top 30 pixel and save it if you see now you have some space for this title here so now we have list of product with the styling and just we need to add some modification to the this uh, page here if we see now if we log out and we'll not uh, be able to access this home page unless if you log in we need to go and remove that uh, authentication and to do that basically need to go to app.js and here instead of using this protector component we are going to remove that protector component and use home component directly and if we save and go back again here and go to home without reloading so now we can access this one and also we need to do some small uh, change to navbar if you see this still say like log out although we are already logged out uh, still is just showing log out let's change this if we log in try show log out otherwise try log uh, try show log in uh, button 
And to do that, let's go to custom navbar. So at the top here, let's import JWT or JSON Web Token. You can import that from use data uh, custom hook. We have it already inside helper file. If you see that already here, it's imported. So now let's create a variable, call it is locked in. And this basically will just try change this AWT or JWT to Boolean by using double exclamation. So we need to check inside this nav. So inside nav here, let's open a curly braces, check if is logged in, try show log out button or link. Otherwise try show log in. Let's change this to log in link or button so and here to navigate you to log in if we save this go back and try reload or automatically reload if you see that now show log in if log press that will take us to log in and if we log in automatically let's just make sure using correct credential because we didn't create a user for this let's just create a, a quick a user here for this sign up and then let's just log in so now we log in successfully so now that now is showing log out and if we log out again and try to log in again also we can log in and also showing log out now we can log out and try access main page or home page without log in will show that log in button instead of log out so this is a tutorial for how to build a product listing page and next tutorial we will create a tutorial for how you can navigate to these individual products and you can see different images for these products and sizes and colors so this for today if you like the tutorial try press some up like and try also leave your comment and if you didn't subscribe until now try subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching and see you in very next tutorial